everyone if you are wondering how to create a 3d maps in QGIS in this video tutorial we will learn how to create 3d maps in QGIS so let's get started the first step will be adding base map so that we can uh, di directly or easily navigate to our area of interest so in the browser option if you come down you can find x y and z tiles so from here you can add any of the imagery so i'm going to use open top uh, open street map from open topography uh, using this you can directly go to area of interest or uh, there is an, another step using a lat long you can go to the location directly for that there is a tool available so go to the option plugins here select manage and install plugin so just uh, in the top you can find search there type in lat long tools so install this plugin and after that you can get the settings like this so after installing if you don't find this tool right click on this empty space under the toolbar section you can find the lat long toolbar you can just enable it and uh, you can see here there is an option zoom to coordinates you just need to paste the latitude and uh, longitude value so paste it here and if you click on this zoom to coordinates you can see it is indicating where the location is you can directly go to this location so i have made a video on it uh, i will be giving that uh, video how to use this tool in the uh, description you can just check it out so after this i am going to load the satellite image from this x and y tiles google satellite and you can see here this is my area of interest this region now you can view the elevation of this region how it is looking like you can also load the base maps from uh, HCMJS uh, you can uh, you just have to uh, just have to install the tool from the plugins so I will be sharing the link in the description you can also check out that video if you have if you find any difficulty in using uh, X and Y Z tiles so I am going to use this uh, satellite image for uh, overlaying above the elevation data set. So we are going to export this image. So go to new print layout. So after giving a name click OK. So for loading the image you can use this option add map. And after that you can just draw on like this. And you can load the image. Now let us export the image so go to the option layout and you can find export as an image click on it let me close it now you just navigate to the location where you need to save this imagery so now after giving the name so hit on save here select generate world file and we are going to export the image to the maximum resolution so we are going to change the page width so I am going to use this value now let us hit save so at the bottom you can see the process going on once it is completed our image will be exported so the image has been successfully exported now let us close this so now let us add the image layers add layer add raster layer so you can use this option to browse the image Salem image which we have saved I'm going to add that image okay so now let me remove these uh, base maps so the next step will be adding our dem data set so if you already have downloaded the image you can directly use this but uh, if you haven't downloaded there is a plugin for it so once again go to plugins manage and install plugin so here in the search option just type in open topography dem downloader so you can use this uh, open topography dem downloader to download dem datasets you can see the dem datasets which are available so after uh, installing it you can find the option install over here uh, I have already installed it so after installing close it and you can find in the option raster open topography open topography dem downloader so I have uh, made a video on this so I'll be sharing the link in the description 
as well as I'll be putting in the cards. If you are new to this, you can just check it out the process. So here I am going to use SRTM 30 meters dem uh, dem data set, and I am going to select the extent for downloading the dem data set. You can use this for example. Uh, you can use uh, calculate from the layer for example using this uh, imagery you can calculate it or uh, if you have a shape file you can use the shape file by using this option calculate from a layout map or a calculate from book map or you can also customize it you use the current map canvas extent you can draw on the map canvas and you can define your area so now after selecting this as the uh, my uh, image which I have downloaded Google image so now we are going to uh, enter the API key so for this I have uh, made a video how to get this API key I'll be putting putting it okay just uh, watch it and now we are going to save this image to a particular location so click on save to the file so here just select tiff and give a name so i'm going to give them hit on save now let us run this process so within a few seconds the dm will be appearing so you can see here we have loaded the dem file see how quickly we are getting the image so before uh, creating the 3d view now let me bring on this image to the top okay so after doing it you can find this uh, 3d view option go to the view options here you can find 3d map views so click on new 3d map view so you can also use this option for creating the 3d maps you can directly click on over here yeah you can see the 3d view is been come up now let me double click at the top and you can see we can increase the width like this so we can increase the width now here we are going to change some settings so that it will be uh, it, it can be viewed in a 3d form so you can see the setting at the top options and you can find configure so click on configure so in the option terrain you can find flat terrain so we are going to use the dem layer so the type is dem elevation after that we are going to give the elevation layer so the type will be dem now we are going to select the dem layer in elevation so click on dem which we have downloaded from open top topography now we are going to set the vertical scale so i am going to set the vertical scale to so that will be appropriate and you can also find the skirt height so that i'll be showing you in a few uh, minutes so click on apply and uh, click on ok now you can see the layer has been changed to 3d in order to properly visualize in 3d use the shift button and now you can use the mouse left click to change the view you can use the mouse scroll button to zoom in you can see how the image is looking like you can now uh, shift it you can rotate this image so you can find some uh, white holes that can be remote by using so once again go to this options and click on configure and in the skirt height set it to 200 map units now click apply and click ok now you can see that the white patches has been removed now you can have a clear view of this how you can see how it is You can have a proper 3D visualization. You can also add some uh, vector layers to this. 
so let us close this so let me add a vector layer so this is a dynate network let me click on open and add it and let me change the color to blue so I'm just clicking over here or you can directly click on so let me yeah now it is better so once again click on the 3d view configure them them layer so now let us view it so after click on shift button shift and you can use this mouse to pan in or you can rotate the image like this use the scroll button to zoom in and you can find how it is this is the drainage network of this terrain so like this you can have a 3d view of the layers also you can overlay at the top so now let us see how to export this image so you can see the option for saving this image save image as so let us save this image and the exported image will be of a, a low resolution it will be around 72 dpi so you can have a view of the image so I just navigated to the location where I have saved the image and you can see how it is so the quality of the image is not uh, good so let us see how to export it in a good quality So this is the position which I want to get it. So now you can see you have to go to the option new print layout. So let us give some name. So click on OK. Now you can see add 3D map. Click on it. So for ex exporting the image to a better quality we are using this option. So you can see the scene is not set so you can use this uh, copy setting from 3d view so here you can see that uh, 3d map 3 so if you are having a couple of 3d maps you can choose it from that so now go to the option layout and select export as an image and here let us give it a name and you can use save here you can uh, increase the DPI for example if you want to inc increase the DPI uh, to 400 or 500 you can put put down or if you want to uh, ex uh, export it to the maximum resolution you can use this uh, 8192 to a maximum resolution so now hit on save it will be taking a few seconds in that the process will be completed so everyone the file has been exported successfully let us view it in the file manager so you can see the image over here so this is how the image looks like so if you want to export a higher dpi the result will be much more better uh, this is another uh, example where i have just clipped the image to a smaller place and exported it you can see the difference how it is so it is always not required to export the image in a high quality if you want to presentation or for uh, any uh, research work uh, just for visualizing you can use uh, the export option as uh, 300 to 400 that is uh, enough so simply you can let me show you an example you can uh, increase the or decrease the dpa here for general usage 300 to 400 dpi is okay if you want to reduce the file size you can have it in uh, 100 150 to 200 
likewise so i hope that you have learned how to create uh, 3d maps in qjs and it will be useful if you have any other doubts on this please to ask in the comment section thanks for watching please to subscribe and give us a like bye everyone